Okay guys, today on this video we're going to be showing you how to clean your carburetor on your ATV. First you're a 250 Suzuki, but it's pretty much the same on any duck bike and any ATV. So stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more daily content and more videos like this. So let's get started. Okay guys, first thing you want to do is remove your basket and your seat. You can come up here and undo your battery. And in case, uh, so you don't lose your bolts, put them back in your battery, just like Clay said. You have some tabs you gotta remove, which is one here, one here, and on the same side you have one tab here, and another one here, and one here, and one here. Then you have a fender bolt that's right here. Others don't have a tab though, so next you need to remove your zip ties. Well, plastic clips that's in your plastic here because your front piece of plastic needs to come off so you can remove your air box. You can remove your side piece of plastic and get ready to remove your top gas tank plastic. You can go ahead and remove your top air bleeder if you want to. As you can see, our air bleeder has got water in it. So we need to drill a drain hole in that. No wonder it was kind of not running good. Water's been getting back in here. Okay guys, you got a clamp on the side of your air box. You loosen up and you can pull your air box off. It will come straight up here. And then you got all this junk clay is messing with here. I don't know if you can see it. Your little idle adjustment. And your throttle cable. It just uh, kind of just come undone. And I think clay done got it undone, don't you? Yep. And then it will unscrew at the top here. Yep. And you can pull it right out. Yeah, take its spot. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. Okay guys, once your carburetor, you got another boot on it, you can loosen that boot and pull your carburetor off. Once you get that, you can pretty much, uh, got four bolts on the bottom of it. You got four bolts on the bottom of your carburetor, one da, one da, one da, and one da. You want to take in four bolts loose. And then remove your carburetor bow. Once you get your bow off, you want to remove this little pin. Oh, and cool. your little bitty float and this little guy right here just pops off like so as you can see we got some dirt in this carburetor probably from the water now to remove this you need to remove this four way now once you get your four way you can take your four way completely out and be careful and don't lose this or bend this tab as your needle and seat comes right up. Now to remove your jets, you want to take a one way or a jet tool to each one of these. Okay, on your jet, you can hold it up to the sky and check it. Make sure it ain't clogged off. Let's see if you guys can see that. Right there. Right But, uh, you, can you guys get a glance of that? This jet, right here, is clean. But if it wasn't clean, you can take your piece of wire and job in these little bitty holes. Like those two holes, and then your main hole, and clean it out like that. And use some carburetor cleaner, or a brake clean, this stuff right here, and spray your jets out with. This jet right here is a little bit dirty, if you guys can tell. We're going to spray it out and clean it with some brake clean and a little piece of wire, and it should be pretty well good to go. 
Okay guys, you can go ahead and do the same to your other jet. As I showed you with the other two, and we install your jets. Be sure not over tighten them because they can break. They are brass and break easy. Then you can spray out your needle and seat. We done did this one and we install your floats. You should not have to readjust your floats. Okay guys, once you get all that cleaned up, you can go ahead and we install your four screws. Now be sure not to over tighten them because they can strip very easily. Okay guys, once you get your carburetor cleaned, you can go ahead and feed this through and we hook your idle back up. And then your carburetor will reassemble the same way you just took it off. Just go backwards with the steps and you will be fine. Okay guys, once you get your carburetor clean, you go ahead and restore everything just as you took it all off. This is our ATV. It's running good as you can see. The other one does need to adjust it a little bit, maybe a little bit faster, we're going to tell once it warms up, but it's close, really close right here. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. We got the four wheel running pretty good, the core is all adjusted, the idle is now too. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and everything to the channel, and uh, drop a like on this video. We upload daily, as you can see Clay's having fun on the ATV, I don't know what he's going to do, if he's going to pop a wheelie or not. Uh, he tried. <laughs> so, uh, hopefully it's helped you out. And hopefully you learned a few things. And until the next video, I see you then. Take care and bye-bye now.